What up and welcome back to the channel. I feel like it's been a minute since I picked up this camera, but in reality it's only been about two weeks or so. Um, but it feels good. It feels good to pick up the camera up. Always, always, always. So one thing I think is funny and cute at the same time that Lily does, she likes to change the oils every 5,000 miles. First of all, like what girl pays attention to that? But she, like, as soon as she's 5,000 miles, like, she, the car is inoperative and no longer works. She can't drive it until she, she does the next oil change, which I think is so funny. Because at the same time, like, one girl actually thinks about that stuff. Because to keep it honest, guys, like, we know oil changes slip girls' minds. They think that the, oil, the car runs on the same oil, like, forever. So she just hit 100,000 miles, so she wants to change the oil. She wants to do the spark plugs and she wants to do the uh, air filter. So let's get to it. You doing the spark plugs. Actually, no, I'll let you pick. What you want to do? Oil and spark plugs? Oil, spark plugs, or the air filter? Which one? Spark plugs. Sounds more fun. Let's set the tools right here. You swear, I really gotta do this right now. Oh, okay. A I'm uh, impressed already. Looking at this engine right now, where do you think the spark plugs are at? The engine is made out of engine. <laughs> <laughs> it's under here. You think it's under there? Why do you think it's under there? Because. What does that even mean, though? What, what does that mean? You just tapped out a, a couple of plastic pieces. So now that you all changed and all comfortable, pop it up. Uh, I mean, it looks like an engine cover, so I'll pop it up. Wait, I don't know how to take off an engine cover. It, it just but pops. It is an engine cover. It just pops up. Is it hot in there? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. You tell me. You no, it's right? most likely because you just drove it, but okay. it just it just comes up. Just pop it up. If I burn myself, I'm gonna be real bad. All it does is come up. All you gotta do is pull it up. All right, no, they're the other side. All right, what's next? So let me just tell you. So your spark plugs are actually in the back right here. So you have one, two, three, four. They're in a line. Yes. So they're right line. Yeah, four they're lined up. Plugs. Yep, correct. So what you're going to have to do is on top of the spark plugs, they're going to be the coil packs. Mm -hmm. So do that's... I, do I need those? Coil packs? Yes. No, like do I need new ones? Uh, no, not necessarily. I mean... Coil packs, I mean, they go bad, don't get me wrong. I told you I want to do this. No, they go bad. They go bad, don't get me wrong. But I, I feel like it's more rare than obviously a spark plug. Okay. So it's going to be, I believe it's, uh, that looks like a 10 millimeter. So you're going to have to take 10 millimeters, pop up that coil pack, and then the spark plug is going to be underneath there. All right, so hit right here, right here. It's 10 millimeters on there. I think you're doing something. I am. I'm so, doing such energy. It's your car. I know, but it's dirty. <laughs> Alright, well, you have to make sure that it's going the right way. Nope. Uh, yeah, that's not going the right way. Okay. So then turn it. Hold it. You, you just. I'm not doing it. You, you just broke it loose, dude. You didn't break the car. Get back here. Come here. Myself. How'd you burn? Look at it. What? Let me see. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> right here? It's Ow! Oh my gosh. Alright, so for the time being. Because of the fact that I'm not really trying to do this all day and night, I'm just gonna change the spark plugs for you, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay? Okay? It's already loose. I already got it. We ran into a problem real quick. So, as you guys know, you need a special uh, socket to pull the spark plug from the uh, hole, and uh, it does not fit inside the hole. So, I don't know. I doubt we can use a regular socket, but I mean, it doesn't have to try. All right, so. To be honest with you, I expect something from this from like Ford, not from Nissan, but <laughs> again, that, that socket didn't fit, which is basically, ew, look at all the gun I got me. That's a spark plug grabber socket. So I had to use a regular 14 to loosen it and then kind of improvise to get that uh, magnet to pull the, the spark plug out, put it down there like that, and then it'll like pull it right out. Is that like that? Hey! <laughs> now it's time to wash this car. This car is freaking filthy. The one thing that I hate about this car is the brake dust. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, look at that. That's all from brake dust. I cannot wait to upgrade to the RS big brakes. Well, technically it's not big brakes. For me it's big brakes, but it's just the fact the RS brakes. But they come with Brembo's. And then I may do without the drill and slotted. I don't know. We'll see. But... I definitely need new brake pads because these are freaking terrible. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you wanna know one of my biggest regrets with this car? No regrets. Okay, well I have one. I'm just kidding. 
The only regret that I have is when I did tune this car, I did a, what they call like a virtual tune. And basically that is like, it's somebody from like, it could be from like one house away, or like another state or another city, but they like, you send in logs and they tune it that way. Versus actually like, you know what I mean? Like it's kind of like a street tune, but the, the person's actually not here. Yeah, that uh, that's my biggest regret. If I if How I was tuning your car then? Huh? How was tuning your car? No, they were tuning it. I'm done. I like I finished oh. back in February, but I wish that I would have actually took it. Like if I would have known then what I know now, I wish I would have took it to uh, a shop called Snell Performance. It's like maybe an hour ish away from me, hour hour and a half maybe. But I wish because it, it was what's what's the worst thing about it is it was literally the same price that I paid for the tune on this car, and I could have actually because. Everybody has like their own sauce that they put in the tune. So I know for a fact, because of the fact that I'm taking it to somebody and it's technically like a dyno tune, I could have got more power out of this car if I would have took it there. So that is, that's literally like my biggest regret with this car. But I am going to get it retuned. I don't know when because I do need to get the Miata up and running. That's definitely going to be next year's project. It's, it's, it was supposed to be this year's project, but some things happen and I figured some stuff out. But that's literally my biggest regret with this car. So, I don't know. We'll get it, we'll get it retuned and uh, most likely we'll squeeze more powder out of this car. So this was just a quick video to kind of keep you guys, you know, just just have a video out there because I never really like to go too long without putting a video out for the channel for you guys. But uh, just as a quick update, I will be in Fiji, not next week, but the week after that. So I'm still deciding if I actually want to vlog it and put it on the channel, if I want to vlog it and put it on Instagram. So I'm still deciding, I'm not for sure. But uh, that's what's going down. Uh, we'll be there for like seven days. It, well, I'll be gone for seven days. But it, So I'm leaving on Tuesday. I'll get there Thursday. So technically, I'll be in Fiji for five days. But I'll be gone from like place of residence for seven days. A total of seven days. So that's happening. Then once I get back, I do have a couple stuff planned for the cars. Still got to get them out up and running. Again, that's just a whole, that's just a story that is just, once I get everything figured out, then I'll sit down and tell you guys. But uh Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We are almost at a thousand subscribers. That's crazy, because since I've started YouTube, that's always been the goal. Like, yeah, a thousand is cool, a million is cool, but my personal goal was always a thousand, because it's just, I don't know, to me, that's like, that's just like an accomplishment. But uh, we're almost there, so hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.